Today's good word comes from Psalm 112, which almost reads more like a proverb because of the wisdom and comparison that's there. It says, here's how to live the good life and here's how to live the rotten life. And the core difference between the good life and the rotten life is that the good life is rooted in respect for God and in obedience to him that's driven by an inner delight. And this is what drives the follower of God to become like God, as we see in Verses two through five, they're upright and righteous. They're gracious to those who make mistakes. They're compassionate to those who are suffering. They're generous to those who are in need and just in dealing with people. Verse six says the righteous will never be shaken. And it's a bit ironic, really. By surrendering our lives to God, we can't lose our grip on true life. That's a, a paradox of the faith. But not being shaken doesn't mean that our whole life will be rainbows and butterflies. Bad news still comes, but there's hope even in the midst of bad news. Look at verse seven with me. The righteous will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting the Lord. Man, I love that promise, and I want that to be true of me, of us. And and the psalm ends with a stark contrast for the life of The wicked versus the good life. The wicked will be annoyed. They'll gnash their teeth. They'll waste away. And get this, the longings of the wicked will come to nothing. What we're all really looking for is love, freedom, connection, satisfaction. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. And to me, that reads like a a dagger in the heart. But for those of us who look to Jesus, who long for him, in the end, we will know God, we'll find love, freedom, connection, and satisfaction in him.